I wanted to make a graphics video that doesn't specifically focus on the FPS, but the experience of Tarkov. This is Caleb, or known in Discord as Earth Pandas. Together, Jeff and I co-founded EUL Gaming close to 10 months ago. I wanted to provide a technical and creative look into the graphics of Tarkov. So without further delay, let's jump into the 12.12 graphics settings for Tarkov. If Ubisoft did anything well in games, it was particularly the graphics menu. Being able to see the changes in real time is both technically and creatively a feat of accomplishment. I wanted to bring my own flavor of that to Tarkov for this video. Again, this isn't a true eke out every single frame type of video. We won't be going into NVIDIA control panel or window settings for this, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video like that. The first thing that we're gonna do is go into the settings, Make sure you're on the game tab. If you're on a lower end system that has eight gigabytes of RAM, make sure automatic RAM cleaner is checked. If you have 16 gigabytes or more, I would leave this unchecked. Make sure that only use physical cores is checked. FOV, I have mine turned to 75. This is personal preference. Head bobbing, again, I don't like having that. Turning that down to 0.2, lowest it can go. Making sure that malfunction notifications checked. Preload hideout. If you want to preload your hideout when the game loads, this will take, of course, a longer load time. You won't have to reload your hideout every single time you want to use it. For ease of use, make sure that you're set to factory. This is the least amount of FPS impact. These are the graphic settings that I recommend. I want to make a note though, and you can pause the video to take down these graphic settings. We're going to go into a next section of comparison. And in this comparison section, you're going to see different values displayed on this screen and how they correlate to in-game. And I don't want to get anyone confused. So in the bottom right, there is going to be a section where it's going to say a recommended setting. Follow along and that will show you what to use. If you're on a lower end system, we're going to talk about these specific areas where you'll actually probably want to be a little bit lower than this. But if you're on a mid to high tier system, go ahead and use these settings. First, let's start with texture quality. This is a good setting to have on medium if you want a good balance of performance and quality of image. High texture quality, while looking really good, is taxing on the system. Shadow quality. I want to see shadows, so I personally have this on medium, but others like it high or even low. I sometimes have caught people sneaking via shadows, so I personally like to have this up a little bit. Ultra shadows are great for recording video, but at the penalty of FPS. Object LOD or level of detail is for faraway objects and how they render. Set this to 2.5. That is a good mix between objects popping in and not noticing the pop. If you do set this to 2, just be ready for noticing the pop a little bit more. Overall visibility. 400 is way too short, as you can see from this shot on Lighthouse. I set this to 1500. If you have a beefy PC, you could go to 2000, but that is generally not needed. Anti-aliasing is one of the more important settings. Set this to TAA high if you can. If this is too taxing on your PC, then set it to off. This is an all or nothing graphic setting. It can make spotting people in the distance significantly easier. Resampling. If you are in a potato of a PC, then you could select 0.57x downsampling. If you are in a decent PC though, then set this to 1x off. 4x super sampling is completely overkill and is not optimized. HBAO is supposed to make the game look more realistic. I cannot tell at all, so set this off to get max FPS. SSR received a redesign because of Unity 2019. It looks significantly better while not straining your PC. I actually really think this adds immersion, so leave it on high, but if you want more FPS, then you can set it to off. Anisotropic filtering. This is a situational graphic setting. 
I personally don't find it very useful, so set this to off. NVIDIA Reflex. If you have a G-Sync monitor, I don't find this helpful at all. If you are in a lower end system, rumor has it you get a better feeling Tarkov experience. I don't use this setting, so go with your own personal preference. Sharpening. Have some sharpening to your screen. Around one is good. If you want extra crispy images, then you could go to two. Three is for the deep fried experience. High quality color. I'm sure someone on an 8K screen somewhere can notice a difference, but I can't, so leave this one unchecked. Grass Shadows. If you played PUBG, you know this should be unchecked. People prone in the grass will be more hidden if you have this checked. Z Blur. When moving the camera, it should blur objects and or the gun. I cannot tell once again, so leave this unchecked. MIP Streaming. For the ultra potato person, if you want max FPS, check this box. It lowers the intensity of the system in trade of worse graphics. Leave this unchecked otherwise. Chromatic Aberrations. This is for the cinematic experience. It very slightly blurs your gun and side of your screen. When I record videos, I sometimes check this, but otherwise leave it unchecked. Noise. Not really sure why this is in the game, just leave it unchecked. One last section I want to cover is the post effects. So if you go ahead and hit escape and you're in a raid offline or online, go ahead, pass the graphics tab to post effects. Make sure it's enabled and then hit visualize. So right off the bat, I'm gonna set mine to 17. This is gonna be, again, personal preference that you see on your monitor. For me, it's 17. Saturation, you could boost this up just a little bit to give it just a little more oomph in the color. For clarity, I like this clarity because if we reduce it, there's a, just a very, very, very minute change. So I go ahead and boost this up just so it's a little bit noticeable, but not too much. So that's at 14. Colorfulness, I zero that out. Luma Sharpen. I leave my Sharpen in the graphics setting on one, but I boost this up. And you'll notice that there's in the highlights, there's a little bit more oomph in the image. And I actually like this. It's a little bit crispier of edges around the skyline. So I'm gonna set this to 54. And again, these are all just general settings. And then Adaptive Sharpen. This I think is actually pretty useful. So I have this just so I can notice it a little bit. So anywhere from between 15 and 17. Color grading, I have this on JSON. If you go look between none, and then let's say you start applying these other settings, I don't really personally think that there are any good ones other than JSON. This provides just a little more of that saturation look, and it's just a little bit easier to notice people. So I just boost that intensity up to 15, and then go ahead and click apply. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I actually learned a few things by making this video, and I hope you did too. Leave a comment of what you think. Come drop by the Discord and ask any questions or team up in our LFG channel. We also recently launched a Patreon, so go check it out if you'd like to support us more on guide and lore content. I'm Caleb with EUL Gaming. See you in the next one.